1999, more than 600 pregnant mothers and their children were enrolled in the Chamaco study, measuring the effects of pesticide and other chemical exposure in the agriculture prominent Salinas Valley. Chamacos, a community university partnership between UC Berkeley and La Clinica de Salud del Valle de Salinas, has become one of the most impactful studies of its type in the world. 18 years later, the Cosecha Youth Council, consisting of 11 local Salinas teens, came together to bring the study's findings to the public eye. Trained by the UC Berkeley researchers, the youth researchers investigated teen girls' exposures to potentially hormone-destructive and or carcinogenic pesticides. In 2016, the council visited girls in their homes in the Salinas Valley, collecting dust and biological samples, distributing particle collecting bracelets, using GPS devices to map out how close the girls got to the fields, completing questionnaires and taking notes of chemical in their home to examine pesticide levels in the teen girls and their environments. The study's findings conveyed that people who didn't have a doormat at their front door had a significantly higher levels of some pesticide within their homes. The council needed to decide on an efficient way to educate the public about pesticide exposures, their potential effects on the community, and what one can do to reduce exposure risks. Seeking local community members with expertise in mural making, Chamacos initiated a collaboration with Hijos del Sol. Together, they crafted La Cosecha. The council chose a mural as a beautiful, fun, and educational approach to connect with all members of the Salinas community. I find that illustration can bring what, it, what writing does. It's a way to communicate a feeling, a thought, a dream, uh, an idea, and how we process that and how we can make it come to life. However differently, it still leads to the same um, object or or uh, what you want to create, it's or the message you want to give. So illustration uh, brings in other elements where people can decide to read it whichever way they want to. People might understand it in a different way, but it will always lead to that same overall concept of the message. Um, it's more diverse in a way, because a picture can say a thousand words. La Cosecha depicts the everyday life of the agricultural worker and their families, and overviews precautions that our research has indicated may help to protect them from potential pesticide exposures. Some pesticide exposures have been associated with a multitude of health issues such as hormone disruption in developing children, asthma, and other respiratory issues, negative birth outcomes, and neurological disorders that may hinder a child's performance in developing stages. The centerpiece shows a family surrounded by hands that offer them shelter, alluding to our emphasis on protecting pregnant women in the community, whose babies are more vulnerable to environmental health challenges than fully developed adults. Along the bottom of the mural, rows of fields and the Salinas River run along the mural. On both sides of the hands, oak branches extend so you can find the commencement of life via the family and the way a healthy environment can protect families. The left side of the mural shows protective measures that workers can take while applying pesticides and different pesticide application methods common in the area. The center left of the mural shows dandelions common to the region which are absorbing particles from the air and are therefore embedded with the molecular structure of pesticides commonly used in the region. This signifies that sometimes pesticides reach unintended targets or can be transported into people's homes. The right side of the mural focuses on what people can do to remove pesticide residue from their bodies and reduce the likelihood that they may enter people's homes. Washing produce, washing hands, and showering right after working in the fields helps to ensure that pesticides aren't absorbed into the body or rubbed off inside people's homes or on their loved ones. Also, leaving work boots outside and having a doormat may help to decrease the amount of some pesticides which may otherwise have been tracked inside homes. Lastly, field workers can prevent direct contact with pesticides via skin, eyes, or mouth by wearing protective clothing such as gloves, bandanas, long sleeve shirts, long pants, and aprons.
Lacosecha was crafted to communicate scientific findings and give back to a community that has long supported the Chamacos and Cosecha studies. A mural like this will captivate the attention of many, improve knowledge on the pesticide exposure, and spark positive change in the lives of local community members.